you guys. This week, you guys are bringing out Webster High. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this program and, and what it means to you? Yeah, no, it's it's a it's a cool program. We're bringing out junior golfers from um, different high schools, from different events where where we're at, and um, you know, Webster is a Title One school, so. It's pretty unique. This week we're gonna have for the first time we've we've brought them out in Orlando. We we had kid uh, I believe we had nine or no, I think we had five in Tucson, I believe nine in Orlando. But this is the first time we're gonna have girls. So we're gonna have five girls this week. Um, it, it's cool, right? Junior golfers get new experience. That's that's what I wanted to do when I was that age, get behind the scenes, see everything and it'll be really special this week. So we're excited and uh, it's a cool opportunity for us just to you know get in touch with the younger generation and uh, for them to be behind the scenes and see everything that goes on. Jason? Yeah, um, growing up uh, in Northeastern Ohio, we, we only played golf about six months out of the year and to just have these kids out, I know how it was growing up um, where I was. It was a, a blessing to, to go to a PJ Tour event. We only had the one at Firestone there for a long time. So going behind the scenes and just getting to see these guys up close is uh, a lot of fun and it kind of drives me to you know, to become a professional golfer and to see these guys at the elite level. That's great. Matt, you are a bit of a hometown hero this week, hailing from Oklahoma State University. You have a huge crowd out here supporting you. Does it feel like a little bit of a home game for you this week? Yeah, um, I'd say like Oklahoma for me kind of feels like, you know, if, if not, you know, really where I felt like my first home was definitely my second one now. You know, I live in Jupiter, but every time I come back here, it's just, it's a close-knit family here. You know, I feel like um, the first pitch at the Tulsa Thrillers game um, in honor of your hole-in-one. Just walk us through what that experience was like and what these last couple of weeks have been like for you. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. Uh, I mean, the hardest thing that I had to do was hit the tee shot on the 13th hole. I mean, I was still so jacked up and everything. Um, but it was it was amazing uh, that the fans just they they got behind the whole tournament, and then to give them something like that, something special that they'll always remember, it's pretty cool. Um, and that whole entire Sunday after I made it, it was uh, it was quite amazing. I mean, I was getting standing ovations walking up to every tee and. Every shot from the fairway. I mean, it was uh, it was something I've never experienced before. Something like that. Uh, so uh, something pretty cool. Hopefully, uh, our team can show some magic this week and uh, and give the people of Tulsa something to cheer for. But uh, I'm definitely excited to go throw out the first pitch tonight. I haven't thrown a baseball in quite some time, but uh, hopefully, uh, my athletic bounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm hoping to uh, not. Not give the captain names, uh, bad jeans, and, and uh, <laughs> well, one here. When I when I presented the opportunity to your to your teammates, they said that they wanted to stand in the dugout to cheer you on or boo you in case it bounced. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna get chirped bad tonight. It's not a strike. So uh, yeah, like I said, just don't bounce it. That's all I ask. Um, it can't. It can't be that bad. Brooks, we got to talk about the PGA Championship next week. Obviously, you had an 